<laughs> Shit. Ratchet Ranger showed up and showed out on you puss ass hoes. <laughs> favorite favorite on Simo and we are back for another episode review of Love and Hip Hop Miami. This is season what three episode nine take a bow y'all before we get into the review as always regular church announcements. If this is your first time here please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I will explain to you why I'm wearing the hat in a minute. Before you leave let me know that you stop by give me a thumbs up or thumbs down and then make sure your notification bells are turned on. Look here I know I didn't give you a review last week. I work a lot, man. I work a lot. I got no fucking excuse. Shit, a bitch was sleep. I work a lot. Let me tell you, hence the hat. Now look here. I know you're looking like, Auntie, why the fuck do you got a hat on? Like you just went and worked out. I look like I just went and worked out, right? No, I didn't. Well, actually, work was actually a workout. Y'all know I work outside. If you don't know, I work outside with the homeless community. I do street medicine. So I'm outside. My hair deals with a lot of elements. And here in Austin, Texas, we tend to have three to four seasons um, of weather in one day. Um, yes, three to four seasons in one day. It can be cold, rainy, snowing, um, scorching hot, and a tornado all in the the matter of one day here in Austin, Texas. I bullshit you not. Ask anybody from Austin, Texas, okay? So it started off rainy as hell. I mean like pissing down, rainy as hell. Then the sun came out and it felt good to the motherfucker outside. Then it got a little cold. It was like, oh shit, it's a titty bit nipply out here. Then all of a sudden it got cloudy and dark and gloomy. And then the storm came back all in one fucking day. My hair is like, bitch, look, is we gonna... <laughs> I can thug it out with you for down like this for so long, bitch. And look here. Right now, my hair just couldn't, you know what I'm saying? Right now, at, at the bottom, it's looking a little European up top. You know, we got a little West Indian, well, African going on up here. And no, I did not feel like putting no heat to my head. Look here. I'm wearing a hat. And if y'all rock with your auntie, y'all gonna thug it out with me in this goddamn hat. I'm giving you sexy MILF soccer mom vibes right now. Eat it up. Love it. Titty bop, titty bop. Y'all already know. Look here. Let's go ahead and get into this review, y'all. Hopefully, y'all are ready for this review because I'm ready to give it to you. So, let's go ahead and get right on up into it. So, we got Camille Yan. She's at the little rehearsal or her own little rehearsal. You know, she's <laughs> doing her little song. Wah, 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 wah. That song goddamn jam. I don't give a damn. Nobody say that song jam. Why that song ain't took off just yet, I don't goddamn know. It ain't no different from no city girl, no hot girl, no none of them girls out there that won't, 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 won't. That song goddamn jam. Just then, Suki come in in some scripper heels. She can barely walk looking like a newborn baby calf. I said, girl, if you don't get your ass up them fucking heels looking like a newborn baby calf. They get to talking about Alvin being that tour manager right now. We all know it's a bad fucking idea, but for whatever reason, they think it's a good idea for this nigga to be their tour manager, right? Just then, you know, they already know they unsure about the shit. They look here, bitch, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why y'all thought it was a good idea for this nigga to be your goddamn role. But anyways, just then, Alvin comes in. Look here, what y'all doing while y'all sitting on the floor? Time is money, money is time, like everything is going on. What the hell is y'all doing sitting on the floor? Where the hell is Hood Brat? They're like, Hood Brat in the studio, nigga. What the fuck is you doing here? You goddamn late. And you already fucking up. You supposed to be the goddamn tour manager, nigga. What? He said, look here, when I done got you booked at this place in Homestead, I got you a hotel, I got you a Sprinter, I already got money on deck, I got boom, 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 cha ching pow, pow, whoop de whoop yada, yada, yada. All you gotta do is roll with me, we're gonna take over the whole motherfucking world. I was like, well, he sound like he know what he goddamn doing, but he was an assistant. He wasn't no goddamn manager or nothing. He was managing assistant, if that mean anything. Suki tells him, look here, we cool, we good with all that, just as long as you know that Bobby is going to be the MC. And I know you and Bobby got a little bit of history or whatever. He like, look here, me and Bobby is cool as long as he can stay in his lane, be an MC. He let me stay in my lane, be a little road manager. I can do what I do, y'all. 
this Moscato is good. Peach Moscato. It's that good cheap kind. Y'all know your auntie. Y'all, y'all, y'all already know your auntie La Ratchet now. Look here. You don't like my hat or my ratchet drink. Feel free to donate to my cash app, nigga, because I love it. This is Peach Moscato. You can get it from your local corner store. I think it's by like Reunite, R-I-U-N-I-T-E. Peach Moscato, $9. Fuck you mean, this is good. Child, just being Miami Tip walks in. Child, Miami Tip walk in looking like a bomb ass <laughs> tiger top tube. <laughs> A SST tube. Look here. That's phlebotomy talk for y'all that don't know. Y'all know I'm a phlebotomist as well. I, I, I draw your blood and all of that. So that's the, the black and the red tube they use when they draw your... She like a fucking tiger top tube. You gotta be in the medical field to understand that. I'm sorry. That, phew, I probably went over a lot of y'all goddamn hair. But anyways, y'all that work in the medical field, she look like a bomb ass tiger top tube coming through there. Boom. Or red top tube. That's exactly what the fuck she goddamn look like. So just then Alvin leaves and she like, what that nigga doing here? And they're like, oh, well, he's our tour manager. She's like, nigga, I know y'all fine, bitch. I know you fucking lying. Shout out to Zoe. I know you fucking lying. Not his goddamn ass. He wasn't managing that. Did he manage the kitchen? Don't he manage how long them ribs got to be down for before you got to take them out and let them air out for a little bit? Ain't that what he managed? How much seasoning we need to put in them collards back there? That the yard bird? That's what he managed. That nigga can't manage no goddamn yard on the goddamn road. Don't say I didn't warn you when he fucked this shit up. You know what I'm saying? And when this nigga become y'all manager any goddamn way? Suki say, well, they was drunk and they like they all trying to put it off on. No, bitch, no. Y'all all came to that goddamn conclusion. So she said that um, it was at Santana's party. And Miami was like, oh, so the one I was invited to and, and got them invited to, bitch, how about you tell me what the hell happened with that? She's like, I don't know. It ain't my fault. You started it when you went online and said whoop, whoop, yada, yada, yada. Child Miami said, well, look here. Hopefully one day he will woman up or man up. And um, we can talk about this or whatever. Now, Suki say, you, they're going to come after your ass for that. But look here. Oh, excuse me. I had to burp a little. Ooh, I saw a lady. But look here. Come after her ass for what? I don't see nothing wrong about what she said. He refers to himself as sis. Everybody calling him sis and girl. Suki, I don't want you talk about him. You say my good sis. So if you say woman up or man up, and is he gender fluid? Like, what was wrong with that? Please don't nobody come for me. I don't want no fucking smoke. When nobody don't come for me, I ain't sent for you. I'm just saying, what was wrong about what? Let me move on from that. Anywho, though, she tells him, look here, regardless of what, you need to be careful for that motherfucker Alvin, and when he fuck over y'all, don't say I didn't goddamn warn you. So, Prima Donna and Amada end up sitting down and having some drinks or whatever, right? Some little girl talk. Now, Amada tells Prima Donna that MJ got her fur baby. They end up talking about, or Prima Donna brings up something about you being smothered by MJ. Amada's like, I'm just gonna cut to the chase because um, Prima Donna was being fucking messy. I don't care what nobody say, this I don't like her after this. I don't goddamn like her after this because this shit was messy as hell. She don't even tell Amada that MJX Annie is coming to the goddamn meetup. So they sitting up there chopping it up. Next thing you know, Annie end up showing up and she like, okay, hi, how are you? She's like, hi, I'm Annie. This is Amada, MJ's girlfriend. Amada, this is Annie, MJ's girlfriend from a long, long, long time ago. Now, baby, I was right there when Amada handled that. She handled the cool, calm, and collective right up until Annie spoke. I'd have, I'd have, I'm sorry, I'd have shut that shit down right then and there. But Amada was like, you know, with all due respect, you know, to you, Annie, you don't think you could have had a conversation with me before you just, you couldn't tell me that my man's ex-bitch is coming here? You don't think you could have sent a bitch a goddamn text, a pigeon with a goddamn note on his goddamn foot or something? Bitch, you could have told me something, but you didn't say nothing? You just let me be blindsided like this? She gonna say, well, no, nah, it shouldn't matter because that was a long time ago. Exactly. So why is this bitch coming to see me now about something from a long goddamn time ago? Baby, piece of hair is getting on my nerve. That's when Annie steps in and was like, oh, wait a minute, hold on, calm down. I think you should be thanking me because I'm the reason that MJ is in Miami. So you need to be thanking me for the relationship. Bitch, What? I, I'm sorry. 
me, your auntie, right then and there would have been shut down. Whatever you got to goddamn say, I don't want to goddamn hear. Because look here, first and foremost, you are his old bitch. Whatever happened 10 years ago, I don't give a damn about 10 goddamn years ago, bitch. That was between y'all. That was between y'all. That was way before me. I ain't got nothing to goddamn do with that. So don't come bringing up your goddamn issues because what it really sounded like, because this whole goddamn Annie was like, look here, I did this and this and this for MJ and he turned around and he used me, he drained me and he didn't want to go to work and we lived together and we were together for three years. I was right there with Amada. Bitch, that's, that's on you. That's on you. You decided to do that. So what in the fuck does that have to do with me right now though that's all i'm trying i ain't trying to you know what i'm saying i don't give shit what y'all had back then and there. again that was a way long time before me what the fuck that gotta do with me so then annie tries to get in her head she's like look he's gonna do this for you he's gonna open doors for you open bottles of water cut some steak for you bitch trim your edges grease your scalp put vaseline on the heels of your feet put cuticle oil all on your fresh set bitch he gonna do all of that just so he can feel like he's indispensable bitch he gonna do all of that hoe wrap your head night get you some nice little old natural shit for oh he gonna do all of that bitch and amada even though i felt like amada why is you sitting up here listening to this bitch this is his ex bitch can't not now not a female come and tell me about my man that i'm with now on what y'all had going on in the past. I don't give a shit. That ain't got a goddamn thing to do with me. That's just me. That's just how my mind is set up though. I know everybody's mind ain't set up like that. That's just my goddamn mind though, right? You feel me? So Amada basically letting her sit up there and talk. But Amada is starting to realize a lot of what she's saying is shit that she going through or whatever, right? So she got Amada sitting up here. Ay, Dios mio. She trying to hold that shit in, but on the inside, you could tell she was fucking boiling. She was bubbling. Annie's whole thing was, look here. I'm just trying to let you know before he drain you dry. This is what he did to me, and watch out because he's going to try to do it to you too. Now, this is the whole real issue that I had with goddamn prima donna. Why would you come and bring this bitch that in the first goddamn place? You and Amada ain't even really goddamn cool like that. That I see, because you even said that, that you had just met her not too long ago, and then you lied and said that you ran into MJ. Really, you ran into Amada and even bring his ass up in the first place. See, I don't like no messy bitch like that. I don't I don't fuck with messy bitches like that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Child, so Amada look like she done walked home. Really, she like she done ran home down the goddamn highway on some old Hollywood shit. She on some old goddamn... <laughs> Tony Braxton, unbreak my heart looking shit, looking all frazzled and razzled, dazzled and shit. This, where was your purse, bitch? Where was your keys, your phone? You mean you went out with nothing and you came home with nothing looking all disheveled and shit? Did you leave your shit in the car? Make me believe the shit, bitch. Come on now. But she look like a small, like I said on some old Tony Braxton, Unbreak my heart ass shit. She starts thinking back on all the times that she had with MJ when she just felt like something wasn't fucking right. All the arguments they had and all the times that people were trying to tell her, look here, this nigga ain't right. Child, she get in the house and it's a straight up telenovela like you ain't never seen before in your fucking life. Bitch, she is real dramatic. And when I say the goddamn acting was strong in these two, I mean, it was strong. She walk in all solid. She calls her, NJ, I need to talk to you. NJ come downstairs, like y'all say, looking like Stymie from the Little Rascals. That nigga got a hat in every fucking color. Y'all know females how we do. If we find that one shirt or that one dress or them jeans and it fit just right, bitch, you gonna get you like two, three of them pair. He got like two, he got a hat in every color. Bitch, purple, red, green, bean, green, taters, tomatoes, Chicken, ham, then they got all the goddamn stymie hats. Anyway, I'm fucking the story up. He come downstairs like, yes, baby, what's going on? She like, I feel betrayed. I love you. And I accepted you for who you are. 
<laughs> and you did me so wrong. MJ like, well, haven't I been a good man to you? She said, shut up. Cállate. Cállate, Lefuga. I loved you. And I played myself at the same time. What did you do, Huetani? MJ like, what? Who, who the fuck is Annie? Like, Motherfucker, don't play with me. Who, pero que, who, que is Annie? Because that bitch done told me about you, MJ. I just can't even do it. I can't even do it. Try to get to arguing. Mommy Anna come upstairs. She got her rollers in her hair. Sitting back on deck. Y'all already know Mommy Anna TTG, baby. She ready to go. Ready for some shit to pop off. <laughs> I call me Vaseline. You let me know. Y'all tu sabes. I keep it ready. They sitting up there goddamn arguing. MJ and Amada. They just going goddamn back and forth and back and forth. And it's some real live telenovela ass shit. Child, MJ gets to cry like a little old bitch. <laughs> They going back and forth. Amada said, look, this is my day. And you know what this means? So we don't have to go to this anymore. And I cannot do it. So she goes and leaves. She's like, all right, cool. Chai, he get mad. Hit something as he leave. I was like, nigga, don't be breaking shit. Chai, goddamn, Amada came out. Ah, don't want you quit out. Goddamn it, motherfucker. You better be goddamn careful. Don't be breaking shit in my goddamn house. I don't give a fuck about these cameras. I'll take your ass goddamn out, nigga. Child, he goes upstairs and is crying. I mean, putting on the whole act. Man, I'm trying to do everything with her. I mean, he was a girl. I was like, if this nigga don't, stop it. It was cringe worthy to look at y'all. I mean, he was really kind of like, yo, bitch. I don't know, bitch. Just up there with Mami Anna. Mami Anna's like, well, I mean, and Jay. You know, I, I don't know what you want me to do. Uh, Mara needs some room. She needs some space. You need to go right now. We'll see you later. Mommy, I didn't give a fuck. She was ready for this goddamn nigga to leave. Child, he starts packing up his shit on some Mary J. Blige. Not gonna cry shit. He got his little rolling suitcase. I love you. I'm gonna fight for you. I ain't never going to leave you. You going to always be goddamn mine. I said, that sounds a little bit scary. I don't know about that, Amada. I love you forever. And ever, ever, and ever, ever. Y'all know who he... Nope, I ain't going to even go there. He reminded me of this ex I had. Oh, I ain't going to even go there. Because the nigga might be watching this. And ain't no telling what kind of goddamn psychopathic shit. Yeah, I'm talking about your ass if you watching this. Yeah. He was on some bitch shit, just like somebody, um... Child, afterwards, this nigga goddamn go to Shea House. Like the little brother that go to the big sister to go beat up the bullies that don't beat his little ass up. Now, Shay ready to go holler at Amada to see what the hell going on. Shay, if you don't sit your fucking ass down somewhere and try to make up something for your life, Bucket, Bucket, girl... If somebody tell me Bucky finna come talk to Ann, you tell that squee bitch bastard I ain't scared of her goddamn ass, oh squee bitch bastard. <laughs> Joy and Trina end up going to meet up for drinks. This is a little cute little cafe they had, and their drinks look like it was bomb as hell, too. Trina is at a crossroad. She don't know if she want to revamp her album that's just been shelved or if she wants to come out with some new music. She says she's stressed out and she wants to take a vacation. Joy suggests that they end up going to the Bahamas since her mama's birthday is coming up. That'll be a way for her to just kind of celebrate her mother's birthday, a way for her to get away and have have a vacation at the same time. Now she's against it at first, but then again, she was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a big for my mama. Baby, if my mama's for the Bahamas, from the Bahamas, I would go there every year for my mama's birthday and turn the hell up and drink wine. Cause I know that's what my mama would want me to do. Baby, I already know you let me get in the right position. God put me in the right spot. Baby, I'm going to your birth for your birthday every year. I'm sorry, I got to talk to my mama for a minute. I'll be we're gonna do it up when it's your birthday, mama. But anyway, so God's will. Trina ends up being like, you know, okay, cool, you know, she gonna go ahead and go. Then she suggests maybe Bobby Lights come because Bobby will keep her entertained. Then she suggests that Trick come. Now, Joy's like, well, I can't wear nothing sexy around him and he gonna be looking at me and all that. I don't wanna do that. I gotta wear granny panties. She like, look here, you walk around sex and do whatever the fuck you wanna goddamn do. You know you still want his ass any goddamn way. Joy, quit playing. Quit playing. Gone, gone back to your hub and 
So y'all, the Ratchet Rangers are gearing up to go on tour. Camille Yana Karate Kid, Suki the Samurai, and Hood Brat Smash. They getting ready to go and shut this shit down. Alvin ends up showing up in a little ass Sprinter. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's a Sprinter. He said he was going to get a Sprinter. He didn't say what size the motherfucker was going to be. Child Suki and Camellia end up showing up late as hell. Now, Alvin was already late. They end up showing up later than his goddamn ass. Child Suki see the goddamn Sprinter says it's a goddamn U-Haul and don't want to get in it. When she tries to pull away from him, that was so fucking funny because she pigeon-toed as hell. Oh, goddamn. Later on, when she go running in the scene, I about fell the fuck out. Y'all, so they end up finally getting on the road. They pull up to this nasty ass no tell motel holiday inn if your girl starts acting up switch and take a friend ass goddamn motel i mean the shit looks seedy as hell i wouldn't have goddamn went in there i wouldn't have went in that shit and child if the outside wasn't nasty the inside was even nastier the goddamn um shower had scum and shit all on it it was a for real for real real live bed bug bitch excuse me I'm not stuck up or nothing like that, but bitch, it's just some standards I'm just not going to goddamn go to. I don't give a shit. So, Camellia and Sukiyana girl end up catching an Uber to a whole nother motel said they're going to get ready over there. Now, her brat is focused. She's like, look here. It's a sink. I can take a little whole bath. I can get dressed here because all I have to do is get dressed and go to the goddamn venue. But they ain't want to goddamn do that. Sukiyana says she's Sukiyana. She don't work too goddamn hard to get where she is. Well, baby, look here. You still got to start at the goddamn bottom some goddamn times. I mean, I get it. I get it. But come on now. Come on now, girl. You could have got dressed in there just like Hood Brad said. Did you look a whole bath in a goddamn tub? Because where the fuck y'all went to any goddamn way? Wasn't like it was all that. But Hood Brad was focused. She was like, look at them hoes is bougie. They're my bitches, but they bougie as hell. I'm trying to get this money. I ain't worried about none of this shit. Try to end up going to the goddamn place. It's called the Last Chance Saloon. <sighs> really, y'all? Really? That's when, once again, we see how scripted this goddamn shit is. They go in there, and it's all of about 10 white folks in there. When they walk in, they all out of place. It's like, oh, what in the nigga did we walk into right goddamn here? Child, it was all kind of... Just looks and styles like, well, what do we got here, boys? Got us a couple niggers is what it goddamn looked like. Chasuki and Chameleon end up showing up and they like, oh, hell, fuck no. We not finna goddamn do this shit. But Chameleon asked, um, did you get the check or what? Alvin said he got the check, but the promoter bamboozled him. He lied to him and told him it was finna be a sold out place and that it was finna be big and popping and all this goddamn shit. Chameleon was like, look here, you already got the money. We already got paid. I will bitch fucking. I'm finna goddamn turn up. That's all they needed to know. Child Bobby ends up introducing Hood Brad. Hood Brad gets up there, does her thing. He ends up doing, uh, introducing Chameleon. Baby, she saw my song. Whoa, 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 whoa. I need to download that goddamn song. I love that goddamn song with my ratchet ass. First, Suki didn't want to get up there. She didn't want to goddamn perform. Child, they had to chant her name, get her ass hyped up, just for her to get up there, sing my song. Bitch, put the dick all in my throat. Bitch, put the dick all in my throat. My red dude, nigga, let me suck on it. I don't know the words, so fuck on it. <laughs> Y'all, afterwards, they end up doing a big hug. The Ratchet Rangers end up saving the day, and they fired Alvin's ass just like they goddamn need to because that shit was a goddamn mess. Alvin, you need a goddamn hole kicked in your ass for that. You was wrong as hell. Wrong as hell. Look here. Y'all already know if it was anything that I missed, drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, and please don't forget to go get your peach Moscato. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video, y'all. And your Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out.